Funciona, es commissary before. This is where the food supplies for our animals is stored and prepared. All the produce and proteins that we prepare and feed to our animals are the same restaurant quality that humans eat. Plus, some prepared foods supplement certain diets. I'd like to introduce one of our commissary keepers, Maddie M. Are the commissary keepers responsible for preparing the diets for all the animals in the zoo? Uh, no, we are actually only responsible for about half the animals. Um, we don't prepare any of the diets for our large carnivores, such as our big cats or lions. We take care of pretty much any animal that needs produce in their diet. We'll prep it here and for the next day, and the keepers will come and pick it up and take it to their sections. Individual diets can range anywhere between like literally 30 seconds to uh, about an hour. So this is for our birds, our really small birds, that's mostly our tragopan, our monals, and our turkeys. They have really small beaks, so I want to cut up the fruit so that it's really small size, and this is going to go into our fruit mix. This has cantaloupe, it has pears, apples, blueberries, I'm going to put some grapes in a little bit, and it'll all be mixed together. Preparing diets for so many different animals must be a huge task. So, how do you keep track of it all? Um, so right now, most of our diets for the day are actually done, so they're out in our walk-in cooler for the keepers to pick up later. We'll put individual diets within the coordinates in each section. We also have a big board that helps us keep track of everything that needs to be done, and it's color-coordinated by section. Yeah, I probably should think about color-coordinating my own diets at home. <laughs> What's the most interesting diets that you have to prepare? Um, our most complicated and probably interesting diet is our female Maine wolf. She, Maine wolves have a very particular diet um, that's tailored to each individual. So our male gets um, a different diet than our female does. It's mostly fruit, veggie, meat based. Uh, they each get like about 70 grams of protein, just like regular meat, um, and some rats and mice, as well as a bunch of vegetables. So where does the food come from that we give to our animals? So we order a bunch of different food from companies uh, that are, and a lot of them are curating a uh, specific zoo diet. So a lot of our animals are on a kind of grain-based diet, and we have specific companies around the country that curate that food specifically for zoo animals. So this is our green room, and this is where we store all the green that uh, everyone at the zoo uses. And we store everything from rabbit and dove food to our bear chow and our tortoise chow. Each little pile is usually a different kind of grain. Uh, right here we have dog food for our wolves, and here we have pig food for our pig up at the farm, and uh, we've got a bunch of other stuff all around. Since so many of us are home with our families, this is a great time to cook and share a meal together while we take advantage of the slower pace. The next time you share a meal together with your family, be sure to post it in our comment section or post it on your own social media and tag Turtleback Zoo. Before we sign off today, we want to acknowledge all the helpers out there. Healthcare, transportation and delivery, pharmacy and food service, public works, and other essential helpers. Thank you. And we also want to recognize those that are caring for animals too veterinary clinics and shelters and other caregivers, and of course, zookeepers. Thank you, everyone.